it's Izzy from Badger Forest School. I can't believe I've got my sunglasses on and it's sunny and this is what gonna be our third Monday. It's amazing. I'm so grateful for the sunshine. So yes, third Monday of um, practicing some mindfulness and talking about positivity. I hope you are keeping well. Um, I would imagine for quite a few of you, the, well I say the novelty, is that the right word to use? Maybe is wearing off um, and from speaking to other people this weekend there has been that bit of a slump um, and maybe reality is kind of hitting that this is some weird new norm that we're finding our way through. Um, and we don't really know for how much longer. Um, and that can be a bit tricky and that's okay. That is completely okay that you, you might have had this slump and you're thinking, oh my goodness, where do we go from here? What's our new routines? Um, you might have heard that if you try something new, it takes about average of 21 times of eating it or trying it before you learn to like it. So true, it's true with new routines. It's going to take over 21 days. We're coming into our third week or fourth week for some of us. Um, it's going to take time. So let yourself have that time. So because of that, I'm waffling. Uh, mindfulness this week, we are going to be thinking about creating a positivity jar, or you might call it a happy jar, joyful jar, um, a mindful jar. Uh, hence why I'm holding this to remind me to talk about it a little bit more. Just to help you maybe, and your family, to keep up those positive vibes. It's really important. Why, why is it important? People bang on about, oh, keep strong and keep positive. It is important, it really does help us. Being positive versus being negative, it is proven to be a benefit to your health, your mental health, your physical health. It drives your motivation. Um, having that optimism uh, can make you more work efficient. Um, and it's, it's really necessary. Unfortunately, our brains are hardwired for this survival. So we, I've spoken before about fight and flight um, and the need to survive which means quite often our brains goes to a pessimistic or a negative view because we are hardwired to be looking for threats um, and feeling that preparation for adversity or the fear and those stress so bringing all those things back in that fight and flight that survival that is inbuilt in us we can't get rid of it and i've said before it's, it's really good we've got it um, but unfortunately, sometimes when it comes to circumstances, it means that we can look at things a bit pessimistic and think, oh gosh, this is going to be the cons and this is going to be the problems and it can be really tricky. But you can overcome it and you can train yourself and you can embrace some positivity and the more you do it, and the more positivity you express, and the more gratitude that comes with it, you'll find negativity kind of lessens off and you'll feel more empowered, more enabled um, to, to get through it. And, and as with all things, the more you do it and the more you practice, um, hopefully then it will become a habit and it will just become the norm. Um, it won't seem so out there. I hope I'm talking sense. So, this week we are going to be talking about da, 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 positivity jar. So I've got a jar. I've just found this one in my kitchen, but it might be that actually you've got a jar that you're going to recycle. That is just as good. Um, I've just happened just to quickly whip this off the side as it's empty. Um, and you might want to do one per person, or you may want to do one per household or per family. And the idea of a positivity jar is that something every day that you have found positive or you feel gratitude for, you're going to write it down. So it might be pens or pencils 
Um, you might want to do it on post-it notes, so I've just grabbed a couple of these. Or you might want to cut up cards or paper. You might want to recycle paper or packaging or whatever you have. Um, write it on every day. So whatever it might be. So for me today, uh, sunshine. So maybe with youngers you want to write or maybe you just want to draw oh i don't know if you can see a picture of the sun and then i would fold it up pop it in the jar and then this jar can sit on your shelf or wherever it is the table and every day you put in another positive thought or a or something you are thankful for. So be it your health, um, be it something that maybe somebody has opened a door for you, maybe someone rang you and you thought, oh, I haven't spoken to that person for ages and that was great. Maybe you saw something really funny on TV or you've read something that made you smile. Write it down, pop it in the jar and then it lives in the jar. Now either you can keep this jar going for however long. Now some people set it up and do it as like a New Year's resolution so this will be for the whole year and it will be one a day for the whole year and then come New Year's Eve you open it up and you read through all these amazing things. That's one way you can do it or it might be that you want to do it for a month, come the end of the month you then go through and you review it or it might be as we're in an interesting time at the moment that this is the I don't want to say like corona jar but it might be that as circumstances at the minute you just do it for the period you find yourselves in these situations and then come the end of it you can review it it's a really really lovely way of concentrating your mind even just for that 10 or 30 seconds or one minute about something that has been really positive and good for you in the day however small however big it might be and it all goes into the jar then when you come to open it and share it, you're reviewing and you're reflecting and you're bringing back all those feelings that you want to top you up. So you're topping up the jar, but it's topping up your jar of happiness too. So this week, positivity or happy jar or joy jar, whatever you want to call it, let's start one together. So I've started mine and I'm gonna keep mine topped up now for the duration. So let me know if you're also gonna join in. Um, either you can comment on the YouTube channel or via our Facebook page, and let's keep this positivity going because we are all in this together and we're gonna to be okay. Let's just finish off and we are gonna think of one thing, that positive thing right now. Mine is the sunshine, I'm gonna make soak up the most of that sunshine. And hold that thought in your head. You might want to close your eyes. And breathe in. And then we're going to hold it at the top and breathe out. We're going to do it twice. So ready, breathing in. Hold at the top. And breathe out. And again, breathing in. Hold at the top. And breathe out. bring your hands together press that thought into your heart and into your mind and we'll finish off with a namaste namaste see you soon